Hey y'all new world friends, today we're going to be going over the things that I've been doing to kill corrupted faster because as you progress through the new world adventure, you're actually going to see more and more of these pesky buggers. They must be like important to the story or something. I don't know. I'm going to break this video into three different parts. The first part is going to be weapons, the second part is going to be consumables, and the third part is going to be pretty small but it's going to be armor. Starting with weapons, there's not one build that kind of like fixes everything throughout the game. You can kind of run whatever you want. Obviously, there's some weapons that are better than other weapons, uh, but run whatever you've been running, run whatever you're comfortable with, and have levels in your weapons there. The thing that you can do to get an extra edge on corruption mods, no matter what weapon you're running, is add a sapphire gem. As you can see by this chart, different types of damage do more or less damage to different types of mobs. You can see this in game by the color of the damage you're doing as well as the up and down arrows next to that color. The up arrow with the yellow damage is showing me that my damage is effective against the mobs that I'm shooting right now. If it was blue text with the down arrow, that would mean my damage is not effective against the mobs that I'm shooting. The reason why I recommend arcane for your weapons is because it does significantly more damage against corruption mobs, and on the other side, it has no damage reduction against any other kind of mobs you might find in the world. This means you don't have to be swapping gems back and forth, which is great because those things get expensive. Moving on to consumables, there are two main consumables that will help you with corruption, and I highly recommend bringing them to dungeons like Depths, or if you're doing corruption portals solo or with a small party because they will actually make a difference, even though it's just a small one. Firstly, corruption tinctures. Um, everyone kind of knows about corruption tinctures because they were part of the main storyline, uh, but the corruption tincture is going to get rid of the damage that you would take from hitting zero corruption resistance. Uh, this amount of damage is pretty negligible, and if you've eaten like a satisfying meal or even a light meal, you're going to be fine, but it does help with the big boss fights. Have that extra 5% HP is pretty huge on those guys. The second one is the corruption coating, which I doubt a lot of you even knew existed unless you spend a lot of time in the arcane stand. And if you do, please reach out. You're loved. You don't need to be alone anymore. I promise. It basically allows you to do extra damage to corrupt enemies on one weapon at a time for a brief period of time. This combined with the arcane damage that you get from the sapphire is going to give you a wild increase in DPS against corruption. And even if you're full tank, you should probably be three, four shotting the little guys with ease. Third, obviously bring health stuff because you're going to take damage even if you're over leveled. I'm like level 40 something in this video and I'm doing level 25 ones, still taking damage. Obviously I'm taking damage on purpose a little bit, obviously. That's not because I'm a bad player. It's on purpose, I promise. But I'm still taking a lot of damage and I do need to pop some health potions. So just keep that in mind, even if you're over leveled, you are going to take damage doing this. Armor. This one's hard because there's not clear armor that is better than the others for corruption, but you can add gems to your armor to give you a little buff against specific damage types. I actually took the liberty of testing each one for you guys so you don't have to. You're welcome. The conclusion I came to is that the Onyx or the 1.5% minimum physical damage resistance is the best gem to have in your armor for corruption. You would think that the big lasers and the purple balls of light would be arcane damage, but if you actually take damage from them and look, they proc as corruption damage, which might be a bug, but either way, arcane defense is not going to help you here. The best advice I can give you is try not to stand on the lasers and try not to get hit by the big balls of light. Pretty good advice, I know. So in conclusion, put sapphires in your weapons because that stuff's OP and have, they're like 30 gold in the market too, so they're super cheap. If you got questions, throw them down below. Otherwise, have a great day. Happy gaming, friends. Go kill some corruption. Peace.